on top of the Hancock now, and it pokes the power of the all the way around. So you can see, see the Aeon Centre, got the neutral, and also the Sears, which is now the Willet. You can even see people swimming on the rooftop pools, which I think is amazing. Um, in a second, we're going to go over to the new cafe, which boasts the highest coffee. That's brilliant. Yeah. So you can never spill it. Tells you what you're looking at, so you can get more ideas of you know what you're looking at out through the telescopes. It's a touch screen, so then when you're done reading that, that can go away. And we've picked a hundred spots, so basically 25 in each cardinal direction to tell you a little bit about it. So you know, carbide carbide building. I'll tell you a little bit about this. Um, but what's incredible about these telescopes is that. For example, you want to come back at night, so you want to get an idea of what the nighttime is going to be. So it's still tracking live. There's a camera in here, but now you're looking at the night view instead of the instead of the day view. So. Um, so you get the best yeah. of both. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, not that it happens all that often, but on those days when the weather isn't cooperating so well for us, and this would be, you know foggy and clouds, then you same thing, you can pick the perfect um, day view, so you can see the day view, so yeah, exactly, exactly. So and you say this is the, there's only two in the world? So right now, the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world in Dubai, and then we, and we are, and we're the second ones to have them, so yeah. And it's pretty user friendly as well. It, so absolutely, it's yeah, it's just easy to drive around, and yeah, so, absolutely, so. Should we try to find our hotel? <laughs>